All right, guys, thank you for tuning in to the Iowa Sweet Corn channel. What we got here is some bicolor cotton candy Iowa Sweet Corn. And I got a big bowl here with a, another little bowl upside down. So I have a platform to cut this down off with. So we're going to do like that. Get that going on in there. We got onions here and a little bit of butter. Those are getting translucent. All right, we're going to pick a couple jalapenos for that corn. Got some rosemary here, looks pretty good. Um, but we're gonna pick a couple of these. That looks like uh, a good one there. And this one wants to donate. That one, I'm thinking, how about three? We'll do three corn. All right, we got that. All right, we're getting the fire going with some uh, oak and maple wood. That's all I use anymore is Hickory, oak, maple for wood. I ain't picking up no more cheap garbage wood. It's got to be a hard, nice cooking wood. That's what we're going to cook off of. All right, we'll let that burn down into some hot coals. All right, this is how we do it. This is how we... All right, you get the message. This is a, a Martin chicken fryer. I chose this just to make sure we have enough depth and it's got a lid so it's going to act like an oven we're going to put these onions in there first that way the butter coats the bottom and then we're going to go in with the the corn or actually i'm sorry the butter then these uh, cream cheese to get that hot warm melted up and then i'm going to add a little of this hatch chili spice blend and then some jalapenos and then the corn and that's going to go in here all right that was a good choice for a skillet it's kind of like you know your leftovers and the tupperware you want to choose which one it's going to fit in same thing with this so that was a good choice you want to leave some room to be able to what we're doing is we're going to start it off on the stove here that way we could uh, stir it up because it's a lot easier to do inside the house on the stove before it goes out on the grill and give it that smoky flavor all right guys we're going to give the corn a stir while the uh, flank steak's cooking this is a vintage I don't know if you guys ever know, I didn't know myself, Wagner Ware, you know, the famous cast iron skillet maker, they made uh, spoons. So we're going to give the corn a stir here with that. She's looking pretty good. We're going to give that a nice little stir. Start. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, guys. And then we're going to. Flip those steaks over, see how those are doing. Oh yeah. This is uh, some hickory chunks I stuck in there. Those are doing all right. In case you guys were wondering where this badass fire pit came from, that's a rough and rigid custom fire pit out of Kansas City, Missouri. All right, it's time to take the meat off here, let it rest in some foil for about 10 minutes while the corn is finishing up. You guys like that table there? It was one of those little dinky ones is just too small. So I had that custom welded up right there, put it together and made the two of them. All right, they say the proof is in the pudding. Moment of truth right there, guys. Give her a little try here. Oh, yeah. Fireworks, guys. Fireworks. All right. Take care. Love you. God bless.